I wore this soccer suit during the launch of my Principia mission in December 2015 and again during my return to Earth in June 2016. Your soccer suit is connected to the spacecraft's life support systems and provides approximately two hours of oxygen and carbon dioxide removal in the event of a cabin depressurization. And the suit is tailored to fit individual cosmonauts. We first wear our Sokol spacesuit at the Zvezda factory, and this is probably about a year prior to launch. We have to wear it for about an hour, and in, during that time the suit is fully pressurised so that we can evaluate how well the suit fits us. So it's really important for the suit engineers to be able to get the size right so that when you're pressurised it doesn't cause you any pain. The Sokol shape is contoured for sitting in the Soyuz couch in a foetal sitting position and this shaping of the suit makes it impossible to stand upright and causes the cosmonaut stoop as we walk out to the rocket. It takes about 10 minutes to get the spacesuit put on when you're doing this prior to launch, but if you really needed to get into the Sokol suit in an emergency, you could probably get it sealed up in about two minutes. The gloves are detachable using bayonet fixings, and we wear boots over the feet only for the walk to the launch. The rigid coat provides protection from mechanical and thermal impact. Electrical and air supply lines and hoses are connected on the lower abdomen of the suit, and a large blue pressure regulator is located centrally on the upper chest, with an associated pressure gauge on the right wrist of the suit. The spacesuit is not comfortable to stand up in, but it's actually very comfortable once you're sat in the Soyuz seat. But generally speaking, we wear the spacesuit for the whole six hours between entry into orbit and rendezvous with the space station. And I didn't have any problems with comfort during that time.